Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can use NVIDIA AI for free. Alright, so let's begin with the video. If you're looking to save time and produce high quality videos without needing extensive editing skills, then this is the video for you. So let's dive in and explore how NVIDIA AI can transform your video creation process. NVIDIA AI offers a seamless and efficient way to generate videos using advanced artificial intelligence. By simply entering a prompt or a script, you can create professional quality videos tailored to your specific needs. Whether you're making marketing videos, tutorials, social media content, or even personal projects, NVIDIA's AI has got you covered. In order to start using it, follow me. First, open any type of preferred browser. It could be Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or any other browser you are comfortable with. Once your browser is open, go to the search bar at the top and type in NVIDIA. Hit enter and wait for the search results to load. You will see a list of links related to NVIDIA. Look for the official website link, which should be one of the top results. Once you are on the NVIDIA homepage, you will see various options and features highlighted. To use NVIDIA AI, you need to sign in to your account. If you already have an NVIDIA account, click on the sign in button located at the top right corner of the homepage. You will be redirected to the login page where you need to enter your email address and password. After entering your credentials, click on the sign in button. After signing in, you will be taken to your NVIDIA dashboard. This is where you will find all the tools and features NVIDIA has to offer. After that, you will be presented with a prompt bar. Now, you need to select the latest AI model available for video generation. NVIDIA frequently updates its models to provide better and more advanced features. You will find the option to select the AI model at the top left corner of the prompt field. Once you have selected the AI model, the next step is to turn on beta features. These features allow you to access the newest tools and functionalities that NVIDIA is testing. To do this, navigate to the settings menu. You can usually find this by clicking on your profile icon at the top right corner of the screen. In the settings menu, look for an option labeled beta features. Turn this option on by clicking the toggle switch next to it. Turning on beta features ensures that you can make use of the latest improvements and enhancements that NVIDIA is working on. With beta features enabled, go back to the main project creation page where you can start by entering a prompt. After entering your prompt, click on the generate video and wait for a few seconds. Then, you will need to make a few more selections to refine your video. NVIDIA typically asks for information about your target audience, the look and feel of the video, and the platform where the video will be published. For the audience, you might select options like travel enthusiasts, adventure seekers, globe trotters, or any other demographic that matches your target viewers. For the look and feel, you can choose from various styles such as inspirational, bright, or clean, depending on the tone you want to set for your video. The platform selection could include options like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, which helps the AI format the video correctly for the chosen platform. Once you have made all these selections, click on the continue button to generate the video. The AI will now process your inputs and create a video based on your prompt and preferences. This process might take a few minutes, so be patient. Once the video is generated, you will see it displayed on your screen. You can play the video to see how it looks and make sure it meets your expectations. You know the Eiffel Tower, Times Square and Disneyland? It's like, been there, done that, got the overpriced t-shirt. Well, buckle up, because today I'm taking you on a whirlwind tour of some of the world's best-kept travel secrets. First stop, Slovenia. This little gem in Europe is often overshadowed by its neighbors, but trust me, Lake Bled is straight out of a fairy. One of the great features of NVIDIA AI is that you can customize different sections of the generated video using the prompt bar at the bottom of the screen. For example, if you are not happy with a particular scene or want to add more information, you can enter a new prompt describing the changes you want. The AI will then update the video accordingly. This feature allows you to fine tune your video until it is exactly how you want it. Next, let's move on to the audio section. NVIDIA provides an option to create a voice clone, 
which is a digital replica of your own voice. This is useful if you want the video to have a personal touch with your own voiceover. To create a voice clone, click on the three lines at top left corner, go to the voice section, and then click on add voice. Creating a voice clone usually involves recording a few samples of your voice. You will be prompted to read several sentences or paragraphs aloud. Make sure you are in a quiet environment and use a good quality microphone to ensure clear recordings. Follow the instructions on the screen to record your voice samples. Once your voice clone is ready, go back to your generated video. You can now enter a prompt to change the voiceover to your own cloned voice. For example, if the original video has a generic voiceover, you can enter a prompt like change the voiceover to my voice clone. The AI will update the video with your voice, making it more personalized and engaging. In addition to changing the voiceover, you can also use prompts to alter other aspects of the video. For example, if the original video is in English, you can enter a prompt like translate the video to Spanish. The AI will process the prompt and generate a Spanish version of the video. This way, you can create multilingual content easily without needing to manually translate and re-record the video. You can see that I have generated another video. Again, you can also convert the voice over to a female version using the prompt bar beneath the video. If you want to customize the generated video, then click on the edit button and all of the available clips will be displayed at the top. Simply select the clip you would like to change and then search for a preferred one in the bottom section. Once you find it, click on the replace button and that's it. You can then select apply changes and the video will be saved. In the edit feature, you can also change the script if you want by clicking on them or selecting the add icon beside them. Similarly, you can also change the music AI has used in the video and change to anything from the available library. Lastly, let's talk about the pricing plans available on the NVIDIA website. NVIDIA offers various plans to suit different needs and budgets. There is a free plan that provides basic features, which is great if you are just starting out or want to test the platform. The free plan allows you to create a limited number of videos per week with basic customization options. For more advanced features and higher usage limits, you can upgrade to one of the paid plans. InVideo offers several paid plans, each with different benefits. The first tier is usually the plus plan, which includes more advanced customization options, higher video quality, and increased storage space. This plan is ideal for small businesses or content creators who need more capabilities than the free plan offers. The next tier is typically the max plan, which provides even more features and higher usage limits. This plan is suitable for larger businesses or professional content creators who need extensive customization options, unlimited video creation, and priority support. The Max plan also often includes additional features like access to premium templates, stock footage, and music libraries. In addition to these standard plans, InVideo sometimes offers specialized plans for specific industries or use cases. To find the best plan for your needs, visit the pricing page on the InVideo website. Here, you can compare the different plans and their features side by side. This will help you decide which plan offers the best value for your requirements. If you are unsure, you can start with the free plan and upgrade later as your needs grow. So that's basically how you can use InVideo AI for free. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.